two ends of one rope, Amorim Structure versus Bruno Spark. Which wins? Under a 3-4-3 that becomes 3-2-5? Wingbacks stretch wide, a box midfield keeps control, and United try to pin the last line. Bruno thrives as an advanced 10, but the system sometimes pulls him into a deeper 8 to help beat the press. Fancy, too deep. The geometry says, late first pass. Fix the timing. Fix the feeling. If the first vertical finds Bruno on the half turn, he becomes the pass before the assist and arrives in the box. If wingback release is slow, he drops, creativity shifts backward, and shots dry up. Levers asymmetric pivots so Bruno can gamble in the right half space. Underlaps that clear his lane. A non-negotiable early wall pass into him after breaking pressure. Rest defense ready when both wingbacks fly. Bruno's part, one touch in midfield, trigger calls with the striker, zone patience. Takeaway, it's not a feud, it's physics. Make the rope a slingshot. Control to the edge of the box. Freedom inside it.